All right, guys, today's your lucky day because I'm going to show you an amazing amp. This is a Alamo Capri. I just got it like yesterday. I had it fixed. It's ready today. It's got a single, it looks like about a six or eight inch speaker. Who cares? Size doesn't matter. It's got volume and tone. Always set everything to five. I plugged right in. It's got these little tiny tubes. Looks like an original speaker, of course. I had a uh, grounded cable installed. You know, one with three prongs so you don't get shocked. So anyway, turn it up to five. Here's the Galaxy 4. Let's try. Oh, vicious. Oh my god. When I heard that, I flipped out. Let's try a different guitar just for fun. Let's do a SG. The SG is pretty much my favorite guitar. One thing about this amp, it does hum, but when you're rocking, you got no time to worry about that. Oh, it's so buttery. It's so awesome. Let's try a different guitar. Let's throw a Strat on it. That was quite a difference from the DePinto. Those are single coils. Strat's single coil. The uh, p 90 single coil. Let's just see what the Strat sounds like. That was the bridge to the neck pickups. Well, heck, let's have a party. Let's do the Les Paul. Awkward moments. The straps get tangled up. I've got them all in a rack. So these are humbuckers. You know, when somebody comes over and says, I got humbuckers, I'm like, yeah. That's cool, but you don't got humbuckers like these. These are Lindy Fralins. Here we go. Oh my God. So, like, if you recorded a Marshall, you know, a vintage Marshall half stack and recorded this and played the track side by side, uh, you might be able to pick out the Marshall, but it would be pretty close. So that's pretty amazing. I love it, but I got too many amps, and I will sell it. Um, if you're interested, let me know. But I'm just going to say, keep your eyes open for small tube amps. If you get them, if you, can, if you find one, grab it. They're not difficult to repair. They're based on, mo mostly based on about five different radio amps. There's five main radio amps, my amp tech told me. And he was able to fix this easily. So I don't even ask. I just bring it over. I'm like, hey man, make it go. You know what to do. He's done dozens of them for me. So I would like to keep that amp, but I got too many. And before I get too attached to it, I will sell it. So let me know. And like I say, these little amps all hum. There's a bzzz on them because that's just the way they are. Like a, this little fender over here is going to be a lot cleaner. And, but it's a very tidy sound, you know. If you want some gritty rock and roll, some hum isn't going to kill you. So don't worry about it. Let me know if you're interested. Rock out.